Hello everybody, my name is Lucas and today we're gonna be talking about the GoPro Hero 8 Black. So I try to help you to set your camera for your FPV drone. And I'm gonna tell you all my settings. So let's open up the menu. It should look just like this. And let's go through it. So resolution I always use 2.7K which is more than enough for videos like YouTube, Instagram or anything else like that. And I always use on a 60 frames per second. The lens I always use is super wide just to get as wide image as possible. Hyper smooth option you can leave it on or you can turn it off. Normally I use a super smooth boost only then when I have the windy conditions. If we're gonna go back to the ProTune tab, um, you will see bitrate. So the bitrate it's set to high, which actually improves the video quality. Shooter and white balance I have on auto. ISO, it depends on what kind of weather conditions you are actually shooting the video. If you want to lock your ISO, you can actually put ISO minimum 100 and ISO maximum 100. Normally, I always run around 100 on minimum and 400 on the maximum. That way, the image is not being so grainy. If we're gonna go down on the sharpness tab, the normally GoPro set to high. And if you want to actually to do videos with the motion blur um, when you actually fly in it, I always use low setting. It's just because that creates a very nice motion effect. Color profile is always set to flat because I find it that GoPro color is way too saturated. And if you want to shoot videos, um, if you want to get as best image as possible, I would recommend to get an ND filters. These filters, I love it. Um, it is actually a magnetic filter, as you see here. And there is few options. So we have ND4, ND8, and ND16 and ND32. Just like this. They actually come very handy when you're making a video. It depending on the weather also. If you're shooting in a low light, I always use ND4. That actually brings very nice contrasted pictures, very nice contrasted videos, I mean. And it does actually make it a little bit sharper because the sensor gets much more light in it. If the weather it's not great, um, try to use it as low as possible. If you have very sunny day, use it ND32 or ND16. That way it actually will block a little bit light and gives you a very nice detail of your images. And thank you for watching. If you have any questions or if you wanted to say something, please leave a comment below. Subscribe to my page and I say goodbye.